nothing beats it. It's the best feeling because you get to see people looking at it and get the reaction. Really, the whole thing is an adventure. I'm rebelling against something that ain't supposed to be, but that I'm making it be. It just shows that people out there prepared to like risk life on them to get their name up. You got like a secret thing about yourself that the normal public don't know about you. It was like the missing thing in your life. It was like you just kind of like fitted into it. It was like bread and butter. It's like it's like money to a robber. You're leaving a little bit of your ego on the wall, like a little bit of your personality. The main thing was it was fun, you know what I mean? It was dangerous at the same time. You get electrocuted, you can run into people, get beat up. I love the instant gratification of defeat. You really like the notoriety and the infamy of it. So it was like a buzz, man. But I mean, behind it, there's always the other idea that at the same time he was like rebellion, you know what I mean? He didn't like police, because it was harassing you when you're young. He didn't like the government. But it was like a way, it was like a way for you to speak out as well. The first time I actually saw Graf, ever was when I walked into the pitch and like, I picked up a spray can I found on the ground. I did, you know, it was all colours on the wall. I didn't really see it. I just started spraying on the wall. And these two older boys came and they were like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Sort it out, sort it out. Can't you see what it is? And I was like, what? You know what I mean? I just thought people were just spraying up the wall. And they explained me what it was and told me the different letters and the different shapes. And like that really kind of made an impact. Me and my brother one night were watching Top of the Pops and the, the Buffalo Girls video came on. And it's probably the corniest way to get into graph of all time, but watching Dondi do that Buffalo piece, we had no idea what was actually happening. You know, we see these big yellow bubbles and then all of a sudden he's outlining in black paint and we're thinking, that is so fresh. Not even understanding really what we're seeing or the whole idea of actually using a spray can, which we've probably seen in our dad's garage or something like that, but not even thinking about trying to make something with that. I became a proper fan. Uh, I was a geek. I used to walk around with um, a notepad, no bigger than this, a bit smaller than this. And um, used to get any writer I'd met, I don't care if they're Toy or King, can you sign it? Anywhere I was, man. I used to stop people in train stations, you're right. People look at me like, what? I took so many photos, it was unbelievable. I used film after film. I went down to Westway once. I rode from Kilburn down to Hammersmith and took about seven rolls of film, pure graph, just graph, graph. anything was there, stop, take a photo, tag, stop, take a photo. But I just wanted to geek out, I wanted to know everything I needed to know, I wanted to be a king, I wanted to style. So yeah, I just had to, I needed knowledge. see a poster or a billboard campaign or something you know for some product over and over again same with tagging you know I mean you'll see the same tag like, all through the day but it's not advertising a product it's just a person they don't like the idea of people independently going out and doing what they want to do in the night time with no respect for their laws or of society they say, oh, no one asks for it, it gets shoved in their face. We don't ask for adverts, they get shoved in our face everywhere. So that's bullshit as well. We're not looking for acceptance from a place that goes and kills people in other countries for money, for oil. People that go to war in other countries, everyone knows what I'm talking about, are disgusting animals and they can never tell us anything because we're only painting a train. <laughs> 